Hi, welcome to this tutorial video. We have three ways to install Arco Linux and I've made a nice image here which says that we can install the Arco Linux ISO with three desktops on it with two gigabytes big. You can decide to install Arco Linux with a small ISO, Arco Linux D, and then decide to, dis to script. This little sign means to script Openbox, XFC and get whatever you want on that system. Or you can decide, and that's the topic of this tutorial, to have Arc Linux B use a script and build an ISO. So the result of your efforts is an ISO with a desktop environment. You can choose any of the desktop environments that we'll visit. So one, two, three, and here are six. So nine desktops, desktops we'll have in a few days. Phase four, we have this vision, that's what we're looking at. So this is the vision. The vision is, hey guys, you can build your ISO any way you see fit. We give you full control of what goes on on your ISO, your personal ISO. You want Steam on it, you want OBS Studio on it, you want to delete LibreOffice, you want to add OpenOffice, etc., etc. Just change files, burn it, and then uh, burn it on USB, boot and done. You have an Arch Linux B version. That's what we call it. If you run it with these scripts, it's an Arch Linux B version. So the B for build, of course, build your own ISO. You can choose to build no changes. So build the ISO Arch Linux as is, like we do. You can choose to build the ISO like we do, but then change the stuff, change applications. So you'll have Openbox i3 and XFC as well. Or you can say, I've made my decision. I just want XFC on Arch Linux. I just want Openbox on Arch Linux. I just want i3 on Arch Linux. And I just want Awesome. And all, like I said, all the rest will come in due time. Okay, this video is going to be about the first one, XFCE. Okay. So what do we need to do? Get your build scripts from there is a GitHub, Arch Linux B. The B stands again for build. And we are decided to do this one, Arco XFCE. So we're going to click here to copy paste what's in here. So Control C and Control A, Control C is the same thing as clicking here. So why bother? Click there, right mouse click, open a new window. Let's keep working on the desktop. Open terminal. Control Shift, oh wait, let's put the screen key on. So Control Shift V, and I'm copy pasting the whole URL, but that I'm missing something in front. I need to git clone this thing. This thing is coming from the internet. It's going to get on my machine. And all you need to know is basically that there's an installation script and that you need to run build the ISO local. So you do this one here, open terminal, take that one, oops, take that one down here. And then you say, run it. And that's all you have to do. Then you can walk away and everything will be built. It's um, depending on what you've done on your machine. I have already built, of course, and is is deleting stuff. So it takes some time for everything to clean up. So it's uh, split up in some phases just to be a little bit more uh, communicative with the user and there we go in order to build an iso we need to clean your cache cache basically you tell three times yes all right and at this point in time you can walk away from now on he's doing its stuff it's a script that's running that's what I love about Linux. You can put everything in a script and then walk away. Otherwise you have to do it everything manually, which I hate because it's tedious, it's repetitive, it's not creative. So a nice script and then we can wait until everything stops here. Let's pause the video for a moment and wait till it ends. Okay, our end result is in. It means that we have a two gigabyte ISO based on Arch Linux, that's why. 
We didn't change any any application. We could have done that as well, but I leave it up to you to put a hashtag in front of it or add an application. That's okay and explained in another tutorial. So we have a 6.8.2 on the 2nd of June. It's out. Okay. So you go check your uh, folder and because of the scripts, we have a Arca Linux B built. So you go inside in the Arch ISO in the out, you have created yourself an ISO. The only thing you need to do now is, um, well, test it out in VirtualBox and that's it basically. So enjoy your uh, newly created Arc Linux B XFC. And um, if you want to, you can change the packages of both. All right, cheers.